GCSE French How to Ace the Speaking Exam by Noble for GCSE. This is the structure of your speaking exam. So you have 12 minutes of preparation time. You then have the role play, the picture based task, the one minute presentation, and then the general conversation. This progressively gets harder and harder, and we are now going to look at each section in depth. The 12 minute preparation time. During this time, you can prepare for the role play and the picture based task. So you will be given an A4 page and I would recommend splitting it like the image shown in which you have a little bit of space for the role play and a lot of space for the photo task. Now, the reason why you only need a little bit of space for the role play we'll be looking at later is how they only require direct responses, whereas a photo task gives you the opportunity to earn a lot more marks here. And that's why you need a lot more space. Now, you can only write in bullet points on this page because if you do write in sentences, you face the danger of being disqualified. And I would suggest avoid reading off the page when you're dictating. So try and look up and show some confidence. Now, I would suggest in terms of your time division, spend two minutes preparing for the role play in the 12 minutes from the prompts that you'll be given and 10 minutes preparing for the picture task. So when you have your 12 minute preparation time, you'll be given a blank A4 page where you can make your notes and you need to provide your own pen. You'll be given the photo card and then you'll be given the role play prompts and that's it. So let's look at the role play. The role play should last two to two and a half minutes. You can see an example on the right hand side of the screen. The role play only has 10 marks. It focuses on communication and all you need to answer with is basic answers. It's very simple to get four marks. And above you can see an example of the questions which are in black and the responses by a student in green. Just with those green responses, you can get four marks as long as you're answering the question correctly. For example, the first one, combien de temps est-ce que tu le corps durant? So how long do the lessons last? And then you can just reply, le cours durant une heure. So it's a very simple response and that can get you four marks. Role play, easy. Now, just the structure of the role play. So you have two bullet points, which are just basic questions. And you can see as in the example, the two bullet points are the first two questions here. Then you have an exclamation mark. Now this symbolizes a surprise question in the past tense. Now you're not gonna see this. What it means by surprise question is you will not see this in your preparation time. Your teacher or whoever the invigilator is will just tell you directly and you'll just have to answer with a simple response in the past tense. Then you have two question marks. Now the question marks symbolize that you have to ask a question about the specific context. So the context you'll be given is you some information about where or who you are. For example, you could be told that you're a guest in the hotel. And for example, your question can be uh, what time is breakfast, for example, and things like that. Now you can prepare all of these except the surprise question in your 12 minutes prep time but don't spend any longer than two minutes prepping this because it's just simple responses we then have the three to three and a half minute photo task now this is a total of 24 marks with 16 of the marks being communication and content and eight of the marks being linguistic knowledge and accuracy so you have again as we said five questions the first one is the photo description and this is what requires the most detail you should speak about this for at least 25 seconds, so 25 to 35 seconds, and yeah, your most lengthy points. Then the second question will be that the teacher gives an opinion. You must not only just respond about the prompt, but respond to their opinion as well. So do you agree? Do you disagree? So I agree is je suis pas d'accord. I do not agree. Je ne suis pas d'accord. I understand your point of view. Je comprends votre point de vue etc. Question three is going to ask you to narrate a past event related to this theme. For example, in this case, it's marriage. So it can be uh, when was the last time you went to a wedding, for example, or something more commonly asked amongst this module. And then question four will be a reference to a future event. So do you plan on getting married, for example? And then question five will be the unexpected question relating to the broader theme here. 
Now here are the top tips. So for question three, try and include the perfect tense, the imperfect tense, the pluperfect tense. I have made a video on GCSE writing speaking and GCSE writing, GCSE French writing and GCSE French speaking. So you can use the grammar points I put in there. And for question four, in terms of the future tense, talk about simple future, near future and conditional future. Let's talk about the one minute presentation. So there are five themes in French and you get to choose and memorize before you even enter the exam, a one minute presentation on any of these themes and you have to recite it back. You will then be asked some follow up questions lasting roughly two to two and a half minutes. Now, I've listed some here, some really high level things to include in your one minute presentation that will definitely be on the grade eight or nine scale. So just some bonus things here. Um, ensure that you have the past, present and future tense. This is needed in order to secure a pass. And then you can include things like the C clause, um, which is an example is, si j'étais riche, j'achèterais une voiture. If I was rich, I would buy a car. Another good um, structure to use is après avoir or après être, which just means after having done something. For example, après avoir mangé, after having eaten, etc. Try to use these structures to boost your answer. And finally, the general conversation that lasts five to six minutes. So just a key, quick note here, teachers are actually roughly given six questions to ask you, but they can flex from these questions. So don't memorize answers too rigidly that you will not be able to alter them and adapt them. Do try and do some casual revision as well. Now this is 36 marks in total. 12 marks is on communication how what what exactly you're saying the content basically spontaneity is the next 12 marks which is how well are you able to cope under stress pressure and the fact that you are being spontaneous and the last one is linguistic knowledge and accuracy are you using all of the tenses are you using fancy grammar are you how many mistakes are you making now how long do you respond for and what do you say these questions often come up so you should roughly answer each question for 20 to 25 seconds, but it's okay if it's 15 seconds because there will be a few gaps and things like that. Um, discuss past, present and future across all of the questions. So don't feel like for the five questions you have to answer, you have to cover all the tenses within each of them, which within each of the questions, you just have to cover the three tenses across all of the questions. And again, correctly answer the question in the correct tense. So if they asked you what you do on the weekend, that would be present. But if they asked you what you did last weekend, you need to make sure you're listening correctly so that you know you're responding to that response. Because if you start responding, even if it's the correct version of the present tense, then they will discount that answer because you're not answering the question. Now at the bottom of the screen, you can see some grade seven, eight or nine tips. So firstly, I said, prepare some go-to phrases that you don't have to think about how to form some higher level responses. Because in the exam, you've under a lot of stress. There's no point trying to think of how to create a really high level phrase whilst you're in the room. So memorize, I would say, roughly five really good phrases and utilize them. Now, Finally, avoid reading off the page. If you act confidently, then this allows you to increase your marks as you will sound more natural. Good luck to everyone. Bonne chance and I hope you and wish all the best for your speaking exams. See you soon.